Do not take this video seriously. This is just my truth. And the truth. Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of The Truth About. Today, we're going to be talking about... Five Nights at Freddy's. Literally, I just wanted to get this thing on my chest for a long time. Five Nights at Freddy's has been put into anime form, has been put into Pokemon form, has been put into fluffy form, has been put into comic book story arc form, parody form, flash game form. It's just literally everywhere. Everywhere you look for last half reference. Now, how I do this is I look at the positives and the negatives of any game or anything that I review. There is always going to be a positive and a negative. There's mainly po there's a little bit of positivity, but there's mainly negatives. The first positive thing, which states this happy face, is the camera system. I like the camera system. I think the camera system is a good idea. I think it's a good me game mechanic for a franchise that is relying on this game mechanic, and I think they did a good idea and a good job on it. I like the community of this thing from YouTube's perspective. There's the animations have been making so many animations and parodies of this. This is funny. There's Fazbear and Friends, which is in the description below. And many YouTubers have tackled this thing as well. We have Fanos who has tackled it on Gmod and Markiplier who has tackled the actual game. Now, why am I... Now, those guys are not the average fans. Literally. I don't think... But there are fans out there who think this game is good and they develop the game over time. And there are many fan-made parodies. I also think that's the reason, the only fan thing that I like about this game. Now, there, to have a good game, there's always negativity. But this negativity is not related to the game itself. This negativity is mainly related to the community. The community is annoying. It's so annoying that I just want to run away from it. My reaction to playing Five Nights at Freddy's is weary. So many people say no. No, I do not want to see another Chica thing. I do not want to see another one. No, not another one. No, not another one. But what really grinds my gears is when they consider Weird Al Yankovic's beer song, which was made 15 years ago, to be a 6 a.m. ripoff. Are you kidding me? This is what I don't like about the fans. They over obsess about the game. And they're like Iggy Azalea. This is how they deal with haters. If you hate Five Nights at Freddy's, you're going to die. Literally, this is from a kid. And the other thing is, this is what happens when you hate Five Nights at Freddy's. These are kids who are fans of this game, who obsess of it over it too much. Now, there are three versions of this game. There's the Goofy version, which I love so much. There's the fandom version, which is all over Tumblr and fanfiction. And then there's the typical version, which is all over YouTube and everybody's computer screen. Now, that's enough of the fans, even though I really like this image. I, I really wish that they've made better images like this. Now to talk about the actual games themselves. We have the first one, a couple months later, the second one, a couple months later, the third one, and then a couple months later, the fourth one, the final chapter, and then there was another one, and they're planning on making another one. Literally. There are too many sequels. There are freaking too many sequels. This is like Rocky and Star Wars. Let me give you a reminder about too many sequels. It's good for the first time, and then people get tired of it. Because it's just the same thing. It's like Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed. It's the same game, but in a different format. With Five Nights at Freddy's, it's just the game, same game, but with a new number. Now, the game is good to play once in a while. It has good mechanics. It has a horrible community outside of YouTube. It has over-obsessed fans. Too many sequels. It's just that bad. Now, I'd rank the game 8 out of 10 because it's basic. But I rate the community 2 out of 10 because they're overly obsessed. And my question of the day is, what franchise is overly obsessed or over-sequeled or is considered a cash cow? Tell me in the comment section below. 
Anyway, thank you all for watching. I am the Truth About, and I will see you all later. Also, I like to mention that this is my first video, so my editing may suck at first, but I'm hoping to improve over time. Anyway, thank you all for checking out this channel. I hope that more videos will come out. I hope they will come out.